Hello guys, welcome to Helpful Solutions. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a form in Slack in super easy and super simple steps. So let's dive in and see how we can do it. To actually create a form in a Slack environment, first we have to go into the Slack app directory and add something called Slack forms. Because that cannot be done on the phone itself, you have to first add it on your PC and after you add the app to your workspace on the PC, now you will be able to use the, of course, forms in the phone as well. That's why we are on PC. Normally I would show this on, of course, a phone. I will go into the add app section and from here I will search forms. When I search for forms, there are like multiple, of course, ones here. But the one I want is just the one named forms, create and manage forms in Slack. After I click on it, it will send me to the web browser and from there, I will add it to my Slack. This is the Slack app directory page and of course it is just like made by Slack to create forms. I just have to do like add to Slack parts and now I can just type slash form for Slack. Now I can just like use it like this. I will say add to Slack. I want to add it to my first workspace. I will say allow. And after I say allow, it will just immediately add it and I will see notifications as well. As you can see, the notification was here already. You have to save a plan, of course. You have to choose like one of the plans here, but this is generally the price to use forms in a general workspace environment. As you can see, after I add it to my Slack, I can just go ahead and click the app section. If you just, because if you just like type slash forward, it won't do anything. It doesn't let you just like, as you can see, no forms available for the channel. First, I have to set up a form with the forms. I will go into the messages and say, create a form. I will be able to add inputs, URL, emails. I will add the title, which is test. I will add the form description. Hi guys, this is a test. Then I will like add channels, which channels I whatever the ones I use. And of course, keywords to bring it up. Then I can just save my form. But of course, at least one form elements, okay, it doesn't matter that much. Like after I actually add it like that, I will be able to just go ahead, use the big hub, to use the form I saved and show it to the people on this channel. And this is generally how you just create forms in Slack environment. And I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, don't forget to give us a like and maybe even subscribe to our channel. But in any other case, I hope to see you guys in the next video as well. Have a great day and goodbye.